All right, ASO tried to block Chris Froome from racing the Tour de France. This is uh, huge news, to be honest. It was always debatable, would they do this? Uh, there is an article, I believe it is Article 27, uh, where they can, the ASO can basically decide that they do not want someone to race their race. And um, it's very interesting. It, people thought it would happen, to be honest. Everyone was like, Chris Froome's not going to be able to race the Tour because it's very bad publicity. But anyway, we'll read through. So under UCR regulations, Chris Froome is allowed to continue racing. But ASO t sent Team Sky an email in which they made it clear that Froome was not welcome at the Tour. Now, not really surprising because if Chris Froome wins the Tour de France, which he probably will, or has a good chance of at least. And then, yeah, Article 28, this is the one I was talking about. Um, yeah, so let's say he wins it and then they get rid of it. It just looks bad on cycling. It looks bad on the ASO. It looks bad on the Tour de France. It's just not good news. And to be honest, I think for all of cycling, it'll be good if... Chris Room's case was resolved now, and they were like, yeah, Chris Room, if he's going to race, he's going to win the Tour de France, or if Chris Room, you can't race. Um, but they need to sort it out, because it will turn cycling again into a farce of a sport if they allow this to happen, where Chris Room can race the Tour de France and then get retrospectively banned. Um, it's just not good for the sport. Like, it doesn't matter if people are taking drugs. Just look at football, FIFA World Cup. No one's going to test positive, because FIFA just know that's bad for publicity. Again, UCI need to be smarter about this, realize people take drugs, either punish them silently or just let it happen. But if they just do this the whole time where they just have a, a public drug scandal where everyone can see that Tour de France is an absolute meltdown, it's just not the right thing to happen and it's just not good for the sport. So it's very obvious that ASO didn't want this to happen. They've tried to ban people before. They tried to ban Tom Bonin before. They've also tried to ban the whole team of Astana before. Um, this is... Yeah, not great, to be honest. I think they did ban Astana, but they didn't manage to ban Tom Boonen. And the thing is, it was clever because the ASO have left it very late, so it's very hard for Chris Froome uh, to actually appeal this and get it back. Because if you think about it, Chris Froome does not um, have enough time, really, to appeal this. It's real touch and go if he'll be able to get this um, appeal in time for the Tour de France because it's like less than a week, of, well, it's pretty much a week now. Um, so for me, I think Chris Froome, it's, it's going to be very hard for him to overturn this, uh, but I think he probably will be able to just because there's such legal ramifications for the ASO that I'm not sure they'll be able to actually legally do this because under USAI regulations, Chris Froome can race. It's going to be very interesting if he's going to be able to race or not. Um, what are your thoughts? about this. Should Chris Froome race? Should Chris Froome not race? Are the ASO right in blocking him? Or should Chris Froome be the better man and just be like, I'm not going to race until it's resolved because I know it's a big issue and, you know, the whole sport of cycling is more important than my career? Or should Chris Froome just follow the law um, and just be like, he's allowed to race, I'm going to race, I'm innocent, all that stuff? Um, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully they manage to resolve this soon-ish because it's been going on, well, close to a year almost, maybe nine months now. It's like, you know, you've got to sort this out. Like, I mean... I guess it's bad because it got leaked and now everyone knows about it. But like even so, like come on, like it's it they they have to sort this out. If the top rider of this like for the grand tours of this generation cannot like is there's debate over whether he can race the Tour de France. It's just a joke. He should either be banned or he shouldn't be. There shouldn't be any debate about this. It should just be like happen. The UCI should sort it out. ASO, they're just trying to protect themselves. Uh but yeah, it's absolute chaos. Um my phone, like people message me like, Chris Froome's banned, Chris Froome's banned. It's just like, yeah, Chris Froome is banned. Um, it's just, yeah, it's such a shock in some ways, but not a shock in the other. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be sure to make some more videos on this absolute chaos and drama that will be the Tour de France 2018. Uh, will Chris Froome actually end up racing? Will he not? No one knows. The only people who really know are the ASO, Chris Froome's lawyers, and the UCI. So anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.